Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know that some of you weren't probably expecting a May setup on my channel, especially if you watched my last video, which was about me taking a break and suffering from burnout and everything. But the main reason why I'm doing this video, it's because throughout April, I realized that I really need my bullet journal pages. And even though the pages that I'm setting up today are basically the same as my April ones, I thought of doing this of real in real time because I love doing videos in real time. I just love talking to you guys, sharing things, and one of the things that I realized looking back at my channel is that when I film and I edit my bullet journal setups to be something quick and easy, I feel like a lot of things are just put on the side to not and not included in the video because I want to make it quick. And I really prefer to do real-time videos, so that's what I'm going to try to do from now on. And other things that I like about the real-time Plan With Me videos is that, first of all, I can talk you through the process of doing my bullet journal and explaining everything that I'm doing. And I also have kind of the obligation to make it quick, so it's not five hours here filming. So. I'm going to be setting up my pages for May and I'm going to do a little bit of a flip through through April and setting up everything and just sit back and maybe plan your blue journal for May with me as well if you want. So I am only setting up my May setup because I really need the pages and that was something that I learned throughout April. My blue journal is really something that I need to be organized and productive, so that's why I'm setting up my new pages for May. In terms of themes, I'm going to have a theme for this month, but I kind of promised myself that I wasn't going to do something extremely detailed like I did for April. I'm going to just keep things simple and I'm going to use the new collection from Notebook Therapy, which is the Bunny Blush collection. This is the this is the collection that Notebook Therapy did with Natalie. I'm going to put some pictures here because I don't have everything on the boxes and everything. But I really like this collection and I asked my Vibely members what theme they would like to see for May. And one of them mentioned warm tones and like yellows and oranges. And I was like, wait a minute, Notebook Therapy just released the Bunny Blush collection. So I thought of using it because the stickers are already here. There's a bunch of washi tape. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. And I also want to challenge myself because I never use their little sticker sheets and I kind of want to use it. And I have here a bunch of washi tape and stickers and pens that I just want to use because I really have a problem when it comes to using stationaries. I always feel like I should save it for a better time and stuff like that. And I never use the things when I want to. So that's something that I also want to do. And I'm also going to answer some questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram stories yesterday. So let's start with a little flip through of April. So this is my theme for April. I have here my cover page and my playlist spread. Um, I never know when to fill out this, so... I don't know when I'm going to fill this out, so I'm just going to leave it here. And whenever I have a playlist ready, I just put it in here. And this is my cover page, but cover pages are freaking useless. They are just for Instagram purposes, probably, because I don't use my cover page. And so, like, I don't know why I keep doing them, but I don't know if for May I'm going to do one. I have no idea. So, um, yeah, let's see. But <sighs> cover pages like this, too damn time consuming, and they just are useless. Then I have this huge calendar that I used for like memories and things that happened throughout April. I liked this spread, but I didn't like the layout, so I'm going to do it a little smaller. And for the days that are blank in May, I'm just going to use one of these like bunny stickers to fill it out. And there's that, I'm not going to care a lot about this spread. Then this is my habit tracker, really useful throughout my break, let me tell you. I love this thing, so I'm going to use it again. But I'm probably going to take out journaling and updating Buju, but I still don't know about that. And here I have my study and work tracker, really useful also <laughs> during my break, because I could see the times that I was studying and that I was working, and 
it was a visual representation of how I'm spending my time. So I really liked it. And I don't know if I'm going to do this layout, but I want something similar to this. And this is my first weekly spread that I set up on a live stream on YouTube. Really glad that I did it because I really like this weekly spread. However, it's just not great for me because I want quick things. I want minimal quick things and this was just not it. Um, then I have some journaling that I did and these were two pages that I did throughout my break because my mind was a mess and I needed a place to organize my tasks and my workout logs, everything like that. So I created this master to-do list and as you can see it's pretty simple it's just a bar to just cross the things off the tasks and the title and it's just that and that's what i'm going to do for may as well with a little bit more of decorations but that's literally it and i did a similar thing for my workout log except here on the side i just put on the days and the workouts that i did corresponding to the day of the chloe thing challenge that i was following and i'm going to leave all of the information that i'm mentioning in the description down below so the workout that i'm following and everything also as you might notice my nails are painted which is something that it's not new on this channel but i haven't been painting my nails in a while and i'm going to talk more about that um on the q a section while set up by pages this is alter ego by Sir colors and i don't know if you can see but it's kind of like a shiny hollow i don't really have a ring light today because i didn't want to set it up but this is just one base coat, one coat of alter ego, and one top coat, and it looks pretty nice. And yeah, I'm going to also leave that in the description below. Anyways, these two pages, really useful throughout my break, and I'm going to replicate these for May as well. And then this is an ongoing uh, weekly spread. I don't know if that's actually the name of it, but that's how I call it. Basically, I wrote the title for the day ahead, and the tasks and then at the end of the day I will write the header for the next day and the tasks and I was just like going to do it and then I did a little bit like of things to look forward to next week something like that and I set up my current weekly spread and let me tell you that this weekly spread is extremely simple as you can see but it's so useful that I'm ashamed I do like huge weekly spreads like this one. Believe it or not, this one works much better than this one. However, this one is much prettier than this one. So that is like the vibe that I want to do for me. And I think I'm going to replicate this weekly spread for my first weekly spread of May that I'm going to set up because it's really simple and it's just here and it took me like 15 minutes to make. So yeah. So this is my flip through of April. I actually have to see when I'm going to set up my things for May. And I think I wrote it here somewhere on the pages. Yeah, I wrote here May. So I'm going to start setting it up. I'm going to use a bunch of different things for May. I have this posted that kind of matched the whole vibe with the washi tapes, but I'm not sure if I should use it. The reason why I'm setting up a, qu um, a cover page, it's because I did five pages in total that I want to do. Um, and I wrote them right here. So these are the pages that I'm going to do. However, with the cover page, I have like six pages before my weekly spreads and without it, I only have five. So I just don't want to do that. But if I keep it pretty simple, I think that's fine. By the way, I have a video about how I set up my themes and how I plan the pages and everything, but I'm also going to have my sketchbook here on the side with everything that I planned out for this month and swatches and everything. And this is the swatches of the washi tapes and stickers for the bunny blush collection. This is not sponsored by Notebook Therapy, by the way, but they gifted me the collection. You can always use my affiliate code, CATSPLANNER, for 10% off at Notebook Therapy, if you didn't know that. And I'm actually really happy that Natalie has a collection with them because that's literally a dream come true. And Nat is trying a bunch of things this year and it makes me really proud of her that she's like putting herself out there. She just released um, pins, I think, on her store and she also has wax seals and now she has a collection with notebook therapy so she's really like going all out this year and I'm really happy that she's just like 
trying a bunch of new things. It's amazing what she's doing and I'm really happy to use her collection from May to support her as well. I'm going to leave her social media down below in case you want to check her work out because she's really creative. I want to put this post-it right here. I don't know if I should use a quote. I'm going to think that while I put some things here. I want to add some stamps and I'm not going to cut this with scissors because I, I, that's that's too much but I just kind of want to put like one here I don't know like do something and here I also don't know if we have I can put like these little stickers so I think I want to add this washi at the top and bottom just to fill out the things a bit more oh my god okay because I really like what Nat did with this washi tape and I feel like it's going to look really pretty along the side but before I do that I should sketch my next page and in the meantime i'm going to grab a quote grab a question um from the ones that you asked me so the first question that i got was about my break how was my break going and my break is going pretty good again i'm just setting up and doing this video because i really want my pages but yeah i think it's going well i don't feel any pressure to post I don't feel like nothing <laughs> when it comes to posting things online so I feel like it's going well but I still love to create art but everything that it's not necessary right now for me to create I just don't do it and it feels great even though it's kind of weird I have to mention that it's a bit weird to me to not post constantly on social media but it's great it feels great which is what's important because i always thought that i have to like post a lot to survive and i even mentioned that in my video but since then like my mind is so calm and like quiet because i don't have a bunch of things going on that it just feels amazing to not post anything anywhere and I'm a bit sad that it took me a long time to see that but you know someday I would have to understand that so yeah I'm glad that I'm now taking a break I tried to do a few pen pal letters like the envelopes but they didn't turn out as good because I feel like my brain is a bit fried you know from um, creating so much that now I feel like I don't have many ideas to create stuff, which is fine, but it's a bit weird from someone who was creating things every single day, posting four times a day on TikTok and everything from stopping completely. It's very weird. But on the other side of things, I'm having a lot of fun just relaxing, not doing a bunch of stuff all at once, my mind it's really it's really quiet that's that's kind of like long story short my mind is silent because i don't have that voice saying you have to post this this and this and you haven't posted a tiktok today you have to do it it's just so much better this way i'm having a bunch of time to study which is something that i thought i couldn't do because uh, well i have work to do uh, for my job but to be honest that was just an excuse and now I even go to like Instagram I scroll a little bit on reels and because I'm being like bombarded with a bunch of content and ideas for videos my brain like shuts off and literally tells me stop checking that like close the app and that is like the weird part because I feel like my brain doesn't want to create anything right now and that's weird, you know, it's weird, but it feels great to just relax. And I think that for coming up themes and stuff like that, I'm just going to use like a washi set 
or a notebook therapy collection to do my themes because they are like pretty much already made for you. You just have to put the things together. And I feel like it works. So yeah, like I didn't really need it to think about a theme. I just grabbed the things from this collection and I did it. And since this was not sponsored, I don't really have to include every single thing on my theme and stuff like that. And I just messed up the paper. Okay, that's fine. But I think like these pre-made collections with stickers and washi tape really help you a lot if you don't really have ideas for a theme. So that's what I'm doing for now. I want to add some stamps and stuff like that because this thing like kind of goes well with the theme but doesn't have anything to do with it. So I think I'm gonna add one here. Kind of fit there, so I'm just gonna cut out the stamp stuff around it. here because it literally fits on the little frame doesn't look that bad so that's fine I want to add more orange here and there because this is a lot of purple I also wanted to add one here this doesn't have the borders so maybe it's easier but to summarize and to answer the question uh, I feel much better since I stopped posting. I realized that on TikTok, uh, the last day I posted was March 26th. And since then, I've been growing without posting anything. And I've been getting new followers, which is kind of like... I didn't think that was going to happen. You know, but it did. And actually feel quite happy that, you know, my fear of not posting and like not growing at all um, just didn't happen. I think that's really important to me because I was really afraid that I was just going to uh, stop growing completely on TikTok because I wasn't posting. And again, that's kind of what those social media managers um, and accounts on TikTok that are like, if you post X amount of times per day on TikTok, you can leave your 9 to 5 job, stuff like that. Because I saw a bunch of those videos. And like, that's not completely true, but I feel like that kind of plants a seed in your mind that like, if you do this, like, yeah, you can do TikTok full time and be a content creator full time. And that's just not real for everyone but I feel like that consumed me a lot and I was really liking that hamster wheel just like posting and posting and posting not really taking like a breather to just realize what I was doing so now that I stopped it's kind of like what are you missing I'm missing nothing I'm failing on a few trends but to be honest I don't really care so I should write May here and I don't know if I should add stuff here that kind of fits there nice not a huge change but still and I wanted to put something there but I don't know what gonna add a little bit of this pat tape up there yeah okay that was like bugging me that it was like there without anything. I don't know if I should also add a rabbit there. I feel like I should. Yeah, 
That looks fine. I feel like that's enough. That's enough. Okay. I'm going to write May in black. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. I also don't know if calligraphy was the right choice of fonts for this theme, but I don't really care. Cover page is done. I'm not going to add any more stuff. If I want to do, I will add something like near the end, but for now that's my cover page, really pretty. I'm gonna do the calendar. I don't know if I should do black. I feel like I should do orange. I don't know if I should do orange or if I should do something like this, like the outline black but orange inside. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Here's the thing with my break. Um, I normally use like the five minute rule and just do things that, like have five minutes to decide if I was going to do that or not. But with my break, it's like I'm not going to spend a long time thinking about that so I'm just going to do the first thing that comes to my mind and it's pretty like hmm, I might regret this but to be honest I'm in the I don't care zone so I just go for it I also uh, don't care if my lines are not 100% straight this is not new to me um, I like my lines to be semi straight but I I'm not going to spend anytime using a ruler just don't feel like it also last night i didn't spend a long time thinking about the pages that i was going to do and layouts i just had like a rough idea of what I was going to do and today I just really sketched them and I'm just doing them and that's something that was not usual to me. I used to spend a long time planning my pages before filming which is not a good thing because I spent a bunch of time planning pages and then filming them and everything and I wasted so much time doing that it's insane. Now I'm gonna grab my zero, zero 05 and use some rough outline. In the meantime that I'm doing this, um, going back to that topic of painting my nails, I've been with burnout I think since December or something like that when I realized that I was going to do videos for vlogmas every other day um, and then I realized that I couldn't do that because I just didn't have any ideas and time so I was like okay never mind I'm not going to do that and I only posted like twice a week in vlogmas I don't even remember but I was starting to get burnout at that time and it kind of extended itself until now March and in March was when I decided to take my break and I realized that since then I haven't been painting my nails or doing my nails at all. I will just do a base coat and a top coat to just keep them safe but it was not like the painting my nails to film type of deal like it was before 
and I didn't feel bad but to be honest I was like if I need to film a TikTok and my nails are not done and I have to redo them just to film TikToks it's going to waste a bunch of time so I'm just going to do everything with my bare nails no polish and that was when I started to feel like I was putting self-care and doing those small things on the side to create content and that's just not good. So yeah, um, now I'm back at painting my nails for a while, I hope. And I really feel like if I don't film a lot of things, maybe they don't chip out and stuff like that. Basically, I stop painting my nails to create more content and to not waste a lot of time on those things, but I love painting my nails. Since I left my nails to grow out and I stopped biting them, that I love painting my nails, but that was taking a lot of time away from my like productivity. And that's why I stopped doing them, which is a shame. You know, like, now looking back, I'm sad that I did that. My nails got shorter because I stopped caring about them. Like, this is not my normal length, they are too short. It's, it's weird. But yeah. Okay, this is my cover page and what happened in my spread. I feel like something is missing here and that is not really straight, but I don't care. It's it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to do anything else and I'm going to move on to my next pages. I'm going to do my lists here and then my trackers on the next two pages. And I also used to care a lot about the order of the pages, so it was just not like the same pages here and then different pages on the other side I would like mix them up but to be honest that's not that's not important in any way like the order that you do your pages it's not important and I did that for April I did lists and weekly spreads and journaling parts here and there and I just didn't care about the order so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now
Okay, so I added this cute washi tape at the top. The titles are a little shaky, I don't know if you can tell, but my hand was shaking, that's fine. I put on the days here, this is for tasks, and I'm thinking about adding some rabbits here on the side. Just because I want to use the stamps for my habit trackers, so let's do that. Oops. I'm gonna take a few of them that don't look similar and put them kind of together. That doesn't look that straight, so let me fix this. I'm gonna put one here, meeting the bottom line. That one is going to be there because it looks better. This one's going to be more over here. Yeah, I think that looks better. And in this one, I'm gonna do. here, this one here, right there, and this one there. I don't like that. Okay, really cute, really simple, I'm not going to add anything else because throughout the month I just need space to write everything, so I'm gonna leave them like this. My subconscious is telling me to add something like here. I'll leave that towards the end if I really want to add something. But for now, this is what I need. Now, my habit tracker and work tracker. I'm going to start adding this washi tape as little drawings and stuff. I don't, I don't really know, but I feel like this washi tape is a bit too much to use. Um, like as the bottom like I did for the first one so I'm not going to do that and I'm just going to do a little kind of like the core for the pages if that makes sense the good thing about this collection is that there's a bunch of cute little things in the washi tapes that you can add into your bullet journal in different ways. So I'm happy that I went with this theme because I really like the color palette. I would never do a purple and orange and green theme if it wasn't for this collection, so... Oh no, I'm gonna cut the little bunny off. I don't, I don't like it. I actually don't like when the washi tapes have this line here, but that's normal on the roll, so I'm not going to really look at it that much. And I'm not really answering questions because um, I realize that I can't do all of those things. Like. <laughs> at the same time so yeah i'm just not answering a lot of questions right now i want to add this guy right here i can't really do my bullet journal pages and answer questions at the same time because i'm going to ramble a lot and i don't want to do that <laughs> looks great 
these are going to be orange and this one I'm going to have probably purple and green I'm going to add a little title here probably I actually got one question on my stories that I can answer while I do my habit tracker page which is about how I started with bullet journal and I actually have a video answering that like what made me start bullet journaling I'm going to link it below as well um, but basically I when I was younger I used to do like daily to-do lists every day and one problem that I came across was that I wasn't keeping a record of all of my tasks that I was doing. So I would grab a piece of paper, I would do my to-do list for the day and then toss it out because I just didn't need that anymore. But sometimes I wanted to see what I did like last week and I didn't have any way of doing that because my to-do list for that week was in the trash already. Because I wasn't keeping them, like I wasn't collecting the papers for my to-do lists. And I wasn't using anything digitally at the time, like I do now, like I use Notion now and Taskade sometimes and my Google Calendar. But at the time I wasn't doing things digitally, I was just doing my tasks for the day and that was all and I decided to like search online for ways to like do to-do lists in a better way and I came across a video of bullet journaling and I was like hmm that sounds interesting so that's basically how I started and my bullet journal is literally my task list all in one place because that's literally what I need my bullet journal for As you can tell, I also really like to use my bullet journal for habit tracking and journaling. My bullet journal is for tasks, events that are coming up, habit tracking, and it's kind of like my diary. Because when I wanted to start journaling this year, I was like, should I use like a different journal? Or should I like use my bullet journal as my diary and just write things in an empty page? And to be honest, I didn't want to do that. At the same time, I didn't want to bring an empty notebook with me all the time to just use as my diary. So I keep everything in my bullet journal. So the habits that I'm tracking this month um, are my water intake. Days that I'm studying. study and my workout my workout days I've been pretty good at working out in April mostly because of my break because here's the thing I was always so busy and I was like I don't have time to work out and now looking back that's kind of stupid I don't know if I should do I think I'm going to do that yeah and looking back, it's kind of stupid because working out is not that time consuming. Um, I would see like working out as something that I would spend multiple hours on. And the other day I decided to just track how long I did my workout. And it was like 45 minutes to an hour, including like a shower afterwards. And I was like, why do I always procrastinate on working out if it's just like an hour of my life every day or at least like five days a week or four, four days a week and since i started this break like i've been working out pretty frequently pretty much every single day i sometimes pause in some days that i really need to because of my job and because sometimes i have events for example this sunday is easter so i'm not going to workout because I'm going to be with my boyfriend and my Grammy's coming 
So, you know, it doesn't make any sense to just fit there a workout session because I'm going to be tired and I'm going to try to edit this video on that day. But I try to work out four to five times a week and it has been pretty great. And I know that when I work out, I feel more energized for the day and I can study better. But in my head, when I was with burnout, working out was just like a waste of time. Because I never felt really bad with my body since I stopped eating ice cream. <laughs> and I take care of my body by eating well now. So I just didn't feel like working out. But because of my asthma and COVID and stuff like that, I knew that I should. I knew that I should have worked out more often. But I just didn't do that. And so with this break, I was like, okay, let's try to do... A workout challenge from Chloe thing that's normally the challenges that I follow because none other like workout youtuber works for me except Chloe so that's what I try to follow and it's working pretty great I see my abs coming out I am less tired throughout the day so yeah, it feels nice. This, these lines are freaking mess. I don't know if I should do like two lines. Yeah, I'm gonna do like do some messy lines here. So it's kind of like less noticeable that they are all <laughs> crooked. My god. And speaking of my break, I I'm kind of planning my comeback to social media, but I just I I, I have an, an Excel sheet with like my content ideas and videos and stuff and things that I want to post, but I can't even make myself motivated enough to organize that so like it's been really hard to just come back so yeah i'm going to do just posts here and there I, I i don't really feel like posting anything right now which is pretty weird but yeah at least the break is working i can't believe that i procrastinated with this for four months it's insane now i'm gonna do my study and work tracker I think I mentioned this on my April setup but I truly don't remember I decided to create a work and study tracker because I was feeling pretty bad with my lack of studying because I was creating a bunch of stuff and I didn't have time to study properly and I was also putting the blame on my job because I work with shifts. So there are some days that I have free, others that I'm tired, then I have the night shift. And I was like, okay, I'm tired, I'm not going to study, but I'm going to spend the entire day filming TikToks and editing TikToks to... TikToks, TikToks, <laughs> and editing TikToks to just um, post four times a day and looking back like that was a huge excuse that I was doing to not study which is pretty bad but yeah now I just since I'm not creating anything my brain is like you have nothing to do just study and I spend hours studying like sometimes the entire day studying and I don't think about posting anything or creating anything and it feels it feels amazing and it's freaking weird to say that because, like, I like technology. That's what I'm studying. I'm studying Cisco. Um, but, man. Ugh. Should I do the lines? I'm gonna do a rectangle. But content creation was the thing that was driven me. You know, like, it was my caffeine or something like that like it was a thing on my hand okay 
it was the thing that really motivated me to be productive and do stuff. And studying was just like, eh, I don't want to do it, but I guess I have to. And now it's like, no, you're going to wake up at whatever time. I haven't been waking up with an alarm clock for like two weeks. I only use an alarm clock when I really need it to like not be late for work or something like that. I just wake up and I start studying and I study for how long I want to and I'm just not really concerned with time and scheduling every single minute of my life anymore, which feels pretty great. So now life is pretty quiet to me, which is amazing. And. I've been using my bullet journal every day for April and it feels really great to just use it and feel like even though I'm on this break I'm being productive and I'm happy and I'm having time to just spend time with my boyfriend and just have time for myself. Just feels nice. And for example this month I have six pen pal letters to send but I've only done two envelopes and to be honest if I don't do the envelopes and in time to send them in April, because I just don't have energy or motivation or creativity to do pretty envelopes, I'm either going to do just like plain basic envelopes. I don't know if this was a good idea to add gray here. Not sure. But I'm either not going to send letters this month if I don't have them ready and if I want to do prettier envelopes and spend my time doing pretty envelopes because even though like I don't do envelopes specifically for Instagram, I still like to make them pretty enough to post if they turn out great and that's kind of like my way of creating pretty envelopes. But if I don't do them in time to send them this month, I'm just not going to do it. and. I don't really care about that, to be honest. Because there's another thing, I used to like care a lot about how much time I was spending on pen pals and like sending them in a specific day and not waste a lot of time and like answer letters within a month or two, but my pen pals don't really care if I take a long time to answer, so that's fine. I don't know why I always thought that. It had to be like something that had to be quick, you know? That was one of the rules that I was doing for myself to like answer letters within a month or two of receiving them. But in the long run, like no one cares. I'm just gonna add some stamps here. I don't know if they're going to be like all centered and like evenly spread out. Yeah, not even close. Like this page, it's really empty, but this one is also empty, so that's fine. But now I'm just going to do my weekly spread, which is going to be the same thing as this one. I'm not a huge fan of horizontal weekly spreads like this, but this one is working, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I think I'm gonna add some bunnies on the side, just like I did here, but I'm going to put the days on the little thing and just add bunnies. I really like these bunnies. They are really, really cute. So I'm gonna add one here. And I'm going to try to match with the outside of the thing. And I think I'm gonna add 
only the bigger ones, maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna just change the pencil marks to the corner. Now I'm going to add orange again because I'm using mostly orange everywhere to do the little line thing. I'm not going to do them like completely on the same square. I'm just going to leave a little bit of space and do the line. I forgot to erase the pencil mark there, but that's fine. Kind of do this and then up there. Ooh. I love these pet washi tapes. I think that from Notebook Therapy, the pet ones are my favorite, except when the other ones have like a good design on them. But I love the pet ones. I'm gonna see it next. I'm going to write. May like, like oh my god <laughs> kind of like this but like in a better way I hope oh my god that's awful been worse I like it okay I'm gonna add the days and I'm gonna use this one so Now I just need a little division here. I don't remember. I divided these in the middle, but I'm not going to do that right now. So that's my week. I'm just going to add the days now. Probably here. Six, seven. Eight, and I think it looks great. It's a very simple weekly spread to set up. You can do all of this in pen if you want, but I just like to do it this way. Now I'm gonna flip through the pages and see what is missing. On these two pages, I don't think nothing is missing. To be honest, they are pretty full. I really like them. 
these two are a bit empty, but I'm going to have all of this filled in, so then it's going to be full, so I'm not going to add anything. However, I kind of wanted to add something here. I feel like something is missing here. I think I can try to incorporate these deco stickers from Pocket Fun Shop here and do like the green ones to match with the other greens because this bit doesn't have any greens. So I think I'm gonna do that and I hope I don't regret doing this. <laughs> They have these flowers, so I think I could add them. At the same time, I don't know if it makes any sense. Why is this so hard? I'm gonna test to put one here. Okay, I think I like the little flowers there more, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Looks a bit better, it's still not good but that's fine i like it now on this one something is missing up there okay that's fine This paw washi tape was a really good idea. I don't know if it was Matt's idea. I mean, it's Matt's design. I really like the design and how the little washi tape was made. It's been saving my pages from being too plain in this theme, so I really like it. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm thinking about doing more collection type bullet journal themes like this one because I don't know I think it's just easier when I don't have any ideas for themes I just do this and it kind of works out so yeah okay the page looks much better really like that um, here I don't think I'm gonna add anything because this is fine and then my weekly spread, and I don't think is missing really anything. So yeah, these are my pages for May. I really hope you enjoyed this real-time plan with me video. I know it was not 100% in real time because otherwise we'll be here for two hours, three hours that took me to set this up. I know that it took me a bit more of time than it was planned um, because I wasn't able to do this in an hour. But to be honest, it felt really good to just have my stationaries here around me and just make a page. It really felt great and I don't feel tired creative-wise. I really feel like I needed to just take the morning of this beautiful Friday to just create my pages and they are all done and I really like how it turned out. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about it these videos. Um, I normally do real-time plan with me videos without talking because I ramble a lot and I don't get a lot of stuff done and it took me a long longer than usual to do because I'm talking and answering questions and stuff but yeah I really hope you like this video. Leave a comment down below with some video ideas and your thoughts on these types of videos because I really like to do real-time plan with me videos but sometimes I'm just like I don't want to film, I don't want to edit so I just do the normal bullet journal ones, but I feel like this type of plan with me video, it's much better than the quick 15 minute ones, at least in my opinion. But I also know that some people just like to see the theme and the pages quicker. So yeah, there's that. But with my break, I decided to just do what I feel like it's better for me and that I like to do and not really do things for my audience, if that makes sense. I really like to do 
this um, real time plan with me videos, but I just never took a long time to do them because I know people will not be 100% interested in those and will not watch them, so I just put them on the side, even though they are some of my favorites to film and to edit, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. I really had fun making this theme, I really like how it turned out. I can't wait to take pictures and post it on Instagram because I feel like it's really nice, even though I didn't do anything for Instagram properly. I just think that it's great, so I'm gonna post it anyway. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a bunny emoji in the comments if you watch all the way through. I hope you also planned your bullet journal with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.